The hospital in Abs has provided treatment to over 4,500 patients during the past 12 months. It was a large facility with maternity, emergency and surgical units. On the 15th of August, it became the fourth MSF-supported facility to be attacked in one year. Tomorrow we'll lose people because they won't have access to this type of healthcare. So it's not only to hit the hospital, the damage are far beyond that. And, I mean, it speaks about what is happening in the country right now. More and more civilian infrastructure are targeted. More and more civilians are dying uh, because of direct or indirect cause of the war. And this is not acceptable. A few days after the bombing, MSF took the decision to pull out its staff from two of North Yemen's governorates. The explanations given by the uh, Saudi-led coalition uh, are not enough reassuring for us. We don't think that, that uh, all measures necessary are being taken to prevent more, more incidents. So we have the feeling that this incident might happen again and we consider therefore that uh, hospitals are not safe uh, neither for the, for the patients nor for our staff. So now six hospitals in North Yemen no longer receive assistance from MSF.